impacts. Nebraska's largest school district considers its first changes in nearly three decades. But not everyone is happy about what could be taught or how. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Kevin Bouton. Craig is off tonight. Tomorrow, Omaha Public Schools will ask parents to weigh in on the change, but many are already sounding off tonight. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Andrea Flores caught up with district leaders and joins us live from district headquarters. Andrea? Well, it may be out with the old and in with the new when it comes to sex education in schools. Tomorrow, OPS will propose revisions to what they call outdated content standards in their sex ed curriculum. But over the weekend, Nebraska Founders for Values uh, distributed this bulletin. They're a co conservative uh, Christian activist group asking the public to derail the plans for this revision, saying that it shows OPS's Planned Parenthood inspired agenda. Omaha Public Schools could be making revisions to the standards of how they teach human growth and sexual development in classrooms across the metro. With the same curriculum in place since the 1980s, they joined forces with the Women's Fund of Omaha and hired an outside company to conduct a phone survey to get a better idea of what parents want their kids to learn when it comes to sexual health. Of the 1,500 parents randomly selected, 72.6% of parents believe sexual orientation and LGBTQ issues need to be introduced to the classroom, while 65.5% say Plan B should be covered in classes as well. But With sexually transmitted diseases at an all-time high in Douglas County, Brenda Council from the Women's Fund of Omaha says the time to do something is now. Our chlamydia and gonorrhea rates have been at epidemic levels since 2004 which means we're doing something wrong. <laughs> and the research says the best prevention and intervention strategy is comprehensive, medically accurate, age-appropriate sex education. Marion Fay has served on the Omaha School Board since 2011 and says she has fought for changes to human growth and development content standards ever since. It's not just about any one particular aspect of it. It's really about educating the whole child, making sure that they have the information and the facts that they need to be prepared to grow up in the 21st century. Karen Spencer May, supervisor of human growth and development for OPS, says as the times continue to change, so should the content in classrooms. I think that you've seen changes in laws that have made a difference, and I think it's time to um, address some of those and just see where our community lands. While proposed revisions are not set in stone yet, for now, Faye says there's no time to waste when it comes to sex education for OPS students. Knowledge is power. Now we do want to mention we reached out to Nebraskans for Founders value, Values for an interview, but they declined our request. For parents interested in learning more about these proposed revisions, they are invited to attend a forum here at the TAC building tomorrow from 630 to 8. Reporting live, Andrea Flores, KMTV Action 3 News.